Hello, Johnston County Public Schools. My name's Dolores Gill, and I'm the Chief of Communications and Operation here in Johnston County Public Schools. And we're very excited today to have Mr. Dewey Baker, our Head of Custodial Services, and Mr. Kenny Howe, who is here as our lead custodian. And we'd like to take you through a walkthrough of all of our products for sanitation as we bring our kids and our staff back into our schools. And we'd also like to take you through some of the protective equipment that we have for our staff and for our students. So we're very excited to have you guys here today. And we're gonna kind of walk through this and kind of just help people see what the products are see what we've actually been able to order and what they will see when they're out with their um, students and staff and getting school started and then helping our folks to feel comfortable and our parents when they're dropping their students off at school to know that we've taken every possible step that we can to make sure that they're safe. So Mr. Baker, I'm noticing that I see some sanitation stations, one kind of here on a stand and one that's kind of here. So tell us what the schools will be receiving and kind of where we'll see all these pieces. Uh, each school have got one of these uh, sanitation stations on stands. Uh, they normally will be at your entrance, at your cafeteria, and at your bus entrance. Uh, the high schools have got an additional one uh, here this week. Uh, we also provided each classroom with a dispenser um, and this will be the bag that the sanitizer that goes in. It's a foam uh, sanitizer. So how many will the, each one of the schools get um, of the ones on the stand? So each school will get three, the high schools will get four. Okay. And these will be in everyone's classroom? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma fantastic. And then we will replace these products with the custodians when they're out. Yes, okay. the custodians will have uh, access to order these things and they could replace them. Okay. So. I'm sure everybody knows that we have lots of different hand sanitizers out so mm -hmm. we can expect these to be all around our schools and we have got those provided and know some of our kids like to take it with them but we're we're taking that step to make sure these are here right correct okay so tell us about the thermometers that we're going to be using that we'll see all over the schools uh each school has got a number of them it was based on the the number of students they had uh and it's pretty simple. You just pull the trigger and you point it at your forehead and it tells your temperature. Gotcha. So how about the buses? Will they be on the buses? Yes, ma'am. Great. Great. Super. Well, I'm thinking they'll be at all the entrances yes. and we have procedures for all of those kinds of things. Yes. So that's fantastic. All right. So I'm sure everybody's also very used to seeing our gloves that we have and yes. those can be used for a variety of purposes. Correct. So Tell me about our school nurses. I mean, we're going to be going through a lot of PPE and a lot of cleaning materials. Will our school nurses have all of these types of things as yes, well? Yes, ma'am. We have already given uh, stuff to the nurses, and we will continue to, to work with them when they okay. need them. So nurses, bus drivers. Athletics. Athletics. athletics and fantastic. Okay, yes, so any place a group is, as we're going through these products mm -hmm. um, during this segment, we're going to find that everybody's going to have these, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is probably one of our most popular things. <laughs> so tell us about the different wipes. We've got kind of a new one here. So talk to us about these and whether they will help us in our protection against COVID-19. Well, these were given to the offices and the teachers. Uh, this is to help protect them in between the daily cleaning of the custodians. Um, Hard surfaces, things yes, like that. Hard surfaces, thank you. Uh, any high touch areas uh, would be just touched up with that. Um, the custodians will be cleaning every afternoon in the classrooms. So the need for these will be limited um, unless something you know bad happens, they need to have them. Uh, this is a new type of alcohol wipes because the plastic is so hard to come by for these, they're on back order. So. If you see these, it's the exact same thing. It's just in a different package. Excellent, yes. excellent. So these are all the kinds of products that kind of help uh, prevent and sanitize all the things that we are looking for. So I guess everybody's very used to wearing our mask today. Oh, so yes. I want to talk to you about a couple kinds of masks. You can see our buses, our schools, our nurses will all be equipped with these disposable masks, correct? Correct. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, I'm also hearing that um, our state has provided us with all of our students and staff with the mask I'm wearing today. Yes, ma'am. So 
These come in a pack of five. Many of our parents have gotten those during yes. our orientation. Yep. So what happens if I forget my mask? Am I going to be able to use these? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma awesome, yes. awesome. So it looks like we got five masks. These are going to be washable so that the kids can bring them back. But yes. if I forget them on the bus or I forget them when I arrive at school or if I'm a mom who has to come and drop something off at the school at the front door, I can also have these as well. Yes, ma'am. Excellent, excellent. And also each, uh, each teacher, each staff member has got a package of five of them also. Excellent. Yes, Super duper. Yes. All right. So here in Johnston County, we really wanted to go an extra step. And so I'm seeing that we've ordered these. So Dewey, tell us, tell us what we've got here with our face shields that we've gotten, what, what we're going to be using those for. Uh, a lot of teachers and staff members want a protection for their, their face other than the face mm -hmm. mask. Uh, right. So we provided them with face shields for every staff member. So that's enough for everybody to have. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma adjustable. Yes. They can reuse these. They can keep these in their classrooms and they can wear as an extra layer of protection. protection. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Super duper. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now let's kind of shift to... Um, Mr. Kenny, yes, so tell me about um, what can I expect to happen at my school when my child's not there, during lunch, during transitions? You know, what kind of cleaning products are we going to be using in Johnston County Public Schools? Right here we have the number three clean and distant fact, common sense number three. Okay. And this is properly diluted. This is how it should look. Okay. Each custodian has been trained and know how to di properly dilute it. And if it's too dark, it's not right, so they have to pour it back out and re-dilute it again. All right, all right. And this right here has 10 minutes kill time on furniture and hardware services. Okay, so when we say 10 minutes kill time, tell me a little bit about what that means. Like when you spray something, you have to wait a full 10 minutes. Okay. And it actually breaks down any kind of bacteria, any fungi, or any okay. kind of element like that on surfaces, and you just wash it back down, and right. it's good to go. So this is a cleaner that's really good for like routine cleaning of yes, surfaces. So I'm seeing two different kinds here. And yes. So what's this and what's the difference between the two? This is Avistat D. It's another spray disinfect cleaner. Okay. This has actually a five minute kill time. Oh. Meaning sometimes if you are um, shorthanded and you can run back and forth and this right here is a quick and easier one to use okay. when you don't have time to properly dilute this, okay. you can just get this right here and this does the same thing. Right. So how do we make sure that our schools have plenty of that? Do we have plenty of that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma the Avistat B is a ready to use product. All okay. they have to do is put the, the spray nozzle in okay. there. They will have to mix the common sense number three, right. the mm -hmm. proper dilution for sanitizing and disinfectant. Mm -hmm. It's two ounces per gallon of water. Gotcha. And this is just a matter of, re, you know, we keep it on hand at the school, but then the head custodian requests that. And so, you know, having worked with both of you before, you're the one that kind of makes sure everything gets here and gets ordered and is done. And, and you're the one that's kind of boots on the ground, too. Yes, ma'am. Training. Yes, ma'am. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the training. Have we brought the custodians in to make certain, our head custodian, to make certain they were trained? on all of the events surrounding COVID-19 and kind of know how to do the cleaning side of things. Yes, ma'am. Usually we have a head custodial meeting and we'll bring them in and we'll go over a lot of different techniques and new chemicals that we have okay. in order for them to clean efficiently at their school. Gotcha, gotcha. And so you, you're visiting the schools a lot to kind of watch yes, what yes, both of you are, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. One of the other things we're planning to do is before the kids arrive to school is we have a checklist that we're going to be working through and um, that is going to be showing them all the things that we need to make sure we have out to make sure we're ready for school. So we're excited about that as a team to be able to put that before you and, and help that level of comfort and assurance that we're doing all that we can to, to help spread, um, you know, to make sure that we have good sanitation as we move forward. One of the most exciting things that I've seen that we have been waiting to arrive is our disinfectant fogger. So, you know, does, who wants to show me this thing? Because everybody's loving it. And yes. let's see what we got about this. Do you want to assist me a little bit? You want to actually see it in progress? Well, can we? Yes, ma'am. We got chemical in here. Is it going to hurt me if we're out here? No, ma'am. Okay. No, ma'am. So if I'm a kid, tell me, is there a kill time on this when this product is used in the fogger? 
This product is common sense number three. Okay. And that's the only so thing. Right that here. Yes, ma'am. And that's okay. the only thing that should be using this. Okay. Um, so we just plugged it up. It's already mixed two ounces per gallon of water. It's a five gallon, um, but we're only filling up three gallons in the bottom. And all we do is turn it on and it's ready to spray. Right. Ready to spray it? Yes. So when they go into the classroom, they're going to spray. Fine mist. Very fine mist. Excellent, excellent. That's, so, can can I do this all throughout the day? Yes, ma'am. I mean, you sure it can. It takes what, fifteen yes. minutes or so to dry? Yes, right? ten, okay. uh, 15, ten minutes to kill, fifteen minutes to dry. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of noise, so you can do it while the students are in class. Okay. Right. Um, but that's basically all this machine so is. Every yes, really. Is getting a machine. Yes, ma'am. To do this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And even our larger schools, is this working quickly when the custodians have been out? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Excellent. All right. There's a couple of things. Thank y'all. That's that's awesome. That I want to also make sure because we really work in partnership with our public um, information office, and there's a lot of signage. That I want to make sure our parents know that they're going to see um, a lot of things about social distancing floor markers. They're going to see a lot of information about from the CDC about washing your hands right. and about disinfection, and then lots of procedures that we can expect our principals to to really be putting out there and have already developed. So I know you guys have been helping support all these different departments, but. If I arrive on the buses, are the buses going to be doing some of these layers of cleaning? So tell me a little bit about that. Yes, ma'am. They have their own little machine that they uh, they are mixing common sense number three, okay. trying that, and they're trying another chemical, see which one they like better. But their uh, buses will be disinfected every day, probably twice a day. Okay. And got masks. They got masks on the bus. Gotcha. The bus Blows driver on the is bus. wearing a face shield. I okay. saw one just yesterday. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. So, so basically, anywhere that students will be, we have a procedure, a process for, and we have either sanitation supplies or PPE mm -hmm. ready yes, for the kids. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Excellent, excellent. So, this has been an unusual time for us here in Johnston County, hasn't it? It's really unusual. Right. But, you know, it sounds like you guys have risen to the challenge. Sounds like there's been a lot of hard work in putting it, the thoughts into what we need to be doing to make sure our students and staff are safe. Yes, ma'am. And um, I appreciate you guys just taking us through this today because it gives me, as a mom, a lot of assurance to know that when my student comes in that we are protecting him as well as his teacher. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. This has been tremendously helpful for us. And... Um, we look forward to some updates to see how it's going once we get back into school. We'd like to have you back and kind of see what things are looking like yes, in school. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Great. So want to tell everybody thank you so much for tuning in as we did a little segment today about what's happening with PPE and sanitation here in Johnston County Public Schools. And we look forward to getting our kids back uh, as safely and quickly as possible. Thank you.